Hello everyone and welcome to Creation Myths. Today we're doing something a little bit different. Instead of the usual debunking bad creationist science, I'm going to be speaking directly to creationists today, specifically YouTube creationists. Here's the thing. I don't think you all know what you're talking about. You talk a big game, use big, sciencey words, and claim to be able to refute evolutionary theory. If only those dastardly scientists wouldn't be so dishonest, you'd win the day. But speaking as an actual evolutionary biologist, I've read your work, watched your videos and debates, and had a number of conversations with several of you. You're not just unable to refute evolutionary theory. For the most part, you don't even understand what evolutionary theory is, or how the basics, even things as simple as Mendelian genetics, actually work. So I'm issuing a challenge. I'm speaking in particular to the Standing for Truth Brain Trust. Standing for Truth, John Maddox, Raw Matt, and the rest of the gang. But I want to extend this invitation to any prominent YouTube creationist, whether I've interacted with you directly or not. The challenge is this. Prove me wrong. Demonstrate that you know the science you claim to be able to refute. I've called you out, and I'm inviting you on to correct the record. I have 10 questions on basic biology, genetics, and evolution. Come on and answer them, live. Prove to your detractors and your audience that you actually know what you're talking about. And don't let me scare you away. These are not complicated questions that I've come up with. And I'm not going to pull a bait and switch here. I won't ask you anything my undergraduate students wouldn't be able to answer. Nothing you learn in grad school. We're talking college level intro bio and second year genetics and evolutionary biology. I'll even give you the first question. It's explain how natural selection works. That may sound easy, but given my conversations with some of you, Maddox, you don't seem to understand how natural selection works. And that's kind of a problem if you're trying to overturn the theory of evolution. And it's also kind of funny. The questions get a bit more complicated from there, but not by much. Another is to interpret a Punnett square. Easy, right? I think these are all easy questions, but I also think you all won't be able to answer most of them. Let's find out. Now, to my non-creations viewers, you may be wondering, Dan, do you really think anyone is gonna take you up on this and subject themselves to this potential embarrassment? I don't know. I'm hopeful, and any response or non-response is informative. If anyone comes on, great! We'll find out if they know the barest of basics, or if they're just blowing hot air. And if they decline, well, being too scared to step up tells us something too, doesn't it? If I'm being honest, I don't think Maddox will do it. He plays a confidence game and won't risk that facade. And even though I haven't interacted with him directly, frankly, I think Raw Matt is just too chicken shit to participate. But hey, maybe he'll be pleasantly surprised. Let's find out. So, armchair warriors, if you want to put your money where your very active mouths are, email me. creationmythschannel at gmail.com. That address is also in the description. Or just leave a comment. Come on and prove to your audience that you actually know what you're talking about, or that you don't. Or demonstrate that you're too scared to be challenged, as if answering basic questions in the field in which you claim to be an expert could be considered challenging. I'll keep everybody updated on responses, or lack thereof, and once I have some participants, if I have some participants, we'll set a date. Sound good? Great. Hope to hear from you soon. Thanks for watching, everybody.